Hi, welcome to my next video. This time I wanted to show you something a little bit different. Not so long ago my father finished his second novel called Akratania and because we wanted to publish it as an ebook and real book I did the necessary cover picture for it based on the contents of the story. And the characters in this novel use a really interesting mode of transport because they use huge sail ships to move around. But those ships don't sail at sea, just use regular roads. They have huge wheels to move around and sails to push them along. This is something ridiculous but fun and something that we could see in a Stadio Ghibli movie. So since I read the first draft I wanted to paint one of those ships for the cover of the novel. So the first step was making a digital sketch of the picture in Procreate so I can get a better grasp on the shape of the ship because the wheels and the suspension is really difficult. I searched for some pictures of suspension systems on the internet and then tried to do something like a bigger wooden version of a suspension system like this. I more or less knew what the colors will look like, so instead of doing a digital color sketch I just went straight for the lines with pencils. I used a print of the digital sketch and my LED tracing table to transfer the lines with pencils to watercolor paper. I used the template I got from the publisher to make the picture a right size for the book cover and also it tells you where to put important details so they don't get cut when the picture is trimmed to the size of the book. This time I only did the front cover so I didn't have to think about the spine or the back of the book. When I finished drawing the line work I scanned it once as usual so then I can superimpose it on the finished picture to make the lines more visible. The next step was coloring the picture with my Schmincke watercolors and I wanted to keep the color scheme simple. I wanted to do something like the pictures you can see in the ending scene of Porco Rosso so there are like old photos. I wanted to keep it simple so I used only like greyish blue colors for the clouds and the shadows and some wood like colors to show that the suspension system is wooden. I also decided to put two small human figures in the picture so we can know the size of the ship. There is actually a second reason why I wanted to do a ship for the cover of this book. When I was small, probably around the beginning of primary school, I was really into drawing tanks and warplanes and all kinds of stuff like this. But I was drawing everything only from the side or from the front, no perspective or 3D there. So I was really at a loss how to draw a sail ship, because if you do it from the side you don't see the sails, and if you do it from the front it actually doesn't look like a ship. So I asked my father how should I do it, and because he's kind of good at drawing, he started to do a sketch just with a bow pen, with perspective and everything. And I kind of looked at it and it didn't look like anything to me, but I distinctly remember the moment when for the first time the perspective kind of clicked in my head and I saw the three-dimensional ship represented on flat piece of paper for the first time. This is a really vivid memory for me, I don't know if my father even remembers it, but for me this is one of the first memories I have of being taught uh, how to draw. Anyway, this is the finished picture. After I scanned it, I superimposed the lines so they are more visible and black. I also inserted the needed text like the title and the author's name. So the finished cover looks like this. You can actually buy and read this book if you can read in Polish. So I will put a link to the digital version of this book in the description. That's it for this video, I hope you liked it. As always, feel free to share, comment and subscribe. And you can also support me on Patreon, where we are close to the next goal, which is a monthly watercolor sketch. See you in the next video. Bye!